to their God. You don't see that. But the Lord did this. He right. didn't done this to us. He said, yo, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Right? That's what the Lord said to us. Right? Give me uh, John 10 and 26, Papa Shah. The Lord said, my sheep know who I am. Right? And they follow after me. And we know who the Lord is. And we follow him right after him, man. Right? Because there ain't never, nothing that the Lord has ever done against us. He's only done for us. He's actually our advocate between the Father and ourselves. He's our lawyer, right? Because, say, <coughs> you know how the, the story of Job went. And the Lord said to Job, I mean, said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? And he was like, no, nah, I didn't. But, okay, what you want me to do? He said, go test him, right? And Satan will be like, oh, yo, he did evil, he did wicked, you know. But the Christ will come in and say, hold on, wait, 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 wait. He used to do this. But now he knows how to repent. He said he's going to turn away. and do He's an advocate for us, right? Because we're not willfully sinning out here. But if you willfully sinning, how is Christ supposed to go to his father and be like, hey, man, uh, yeah, he he uh, he said he ain't going to do it no more. I mean, I know he's doing it right now. You can't be a willful sinner, man. We have to repent, turn away from those ways, right? Learn what not to do and don't do them no more. Learn what to do and actually start following those steps. That's right. Bring that out. Huh? This book of... John chapter 10 and verse 26. Bring it out. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. That's right. That's why people don't believe. They're not of the sheep of Yahweh Shah. They don't follow after him. But what? As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. He gives what? And I give Amen. unto them eternal, eternal life. life. That's right. The Lord said, you don't know me because you're not of my sheep. That's right. He said, but my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. That's why we out here reading this Bible. That's why we out here doing thus saith the Lord. That's why we on the highways and hedges every Sabbath day, every time we can come out here and preach this word, because we are of the sheep of the Lord, right? Everybody can't be of the sheep of the Lord. Only one nation of people can be of this sheep, right? right? Let me get Amos 3 and 1, right? We're going to explain to you what nation can be of this. Because the so-called white man can't. So-called Chinese, Japanese, the so-called African man, Ethiopian man. They can't be of the, of the sheep of the Lord, right? So that's why they stay away. That's why they made up white Christ, right? That's why they gave you that Mecca rock. That's why they gave you that cross. That's why they gave us Buddha, uh -huh. right? Because they can't be a sheep. They be, they be on yeah, they be praying to that thing right there. Man, come on, man. That's, that, man, Cedric Bozier, he's the sixth pope's second son, man. And Leonardo da Vinci painted that picture. And they were sleeping together, brother. And, and we supposed to pray to that? Vegas. Come on, man. Bring that out. This book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word. That the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Children of who? O children, oh, children of Israel. The whole world. O oh, children of Israel. Everybody on earth. O oh, children of Israel. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. But I thought God loved everybody. You, you only, only have, have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right. That's why we got in trouble. That's why we had to go through all these doggone atrocities, all the slavery, all the all the hangings, right. all the whippings right. and the beatings. Because the Lord said, I chasten those that I love. That's right. And he said right there, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Israel. And if that's not true, then why does it say this in Revelation? Let me get Revelation 21 and 12. If, if it's not the Israelites that the Lord loves and has chosen and has kept as his chosen... Tell me why the very last book of the Bible says this. Bring it out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring it out. And had a wall great and high. So this is the description of the new heaven that's about to be after this place is destroyed. And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gate 12 angels. Now, what they used to tell us in church? How many gates? One pearl a gate. Yeah, gate. It's a thin line. line. You just build it. Oh, y'all going to be fighting place. to get to this little pearl a gate? The Bible said 12. So they be lying to us for a long time. And had a wall great and high, 
and had twelve gates, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon. They had what? And names, names written, written thereon. thereon. Why is there names written on these twelve gates? Because you have to have that, that name in order to be able to go in. There. That's right. If you ain't of that name, you can't get into heaven, right? So let's find out what names they are. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. What names? Which are the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. They are the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. These are the only people that are allowed to go to the new heaven. That's right. So the Chinese man ain't there. Uh -huh. Japanese man ain't uh -huh. there. The African man ain't uh -huh. on there. Uh -huh. right. what, what about all them? That everybody say that God love everybody. Right? Because they, they run right back to what? John 3.16, don't they? For God so loved the world, they gave his only begotten son. What world? Hebrews 1 and 1. What world, right? Because as far as we knew, there was only one. Everybody believed there's only one world, right? Let's see what the Bible says, though. Because I believe the Bible. I don't believe my own thoughts. But the book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it up. God, at sundry times time, and in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, have in these last days, in these what? In these last days. In what time? In these last days, spoken unto us by his Son, whom he had appointed heirs of all things, by whom also he made the world. He made what? He, he made, made the world. What's that last letter on that word world? S. Which makes it what? Plural. Right. So there's more than one world, right? So when when they say in John 3, 16, God so loved the world, what world? Let's find out what world they're talking about, right? Give me Isaiah 45 and 17. See, because like the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice and they come to me. And they follow me, and I give them everlasting life. You heard the word of the Lord, and you followed him. Right. You're one of his sheep. That's, That's why. Right. That's right. This book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. Bring it out. But Israel. But shall, who? But, but Israel. Israel. Who's it talking about? But Israel, Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World. Who? World. What's Israel? World. world. Without end. end. That's right. Israel is its own world. That's right. That's the world that Christ is talking about in John 3.16. That's, right. That's right. Us. Our people. So-called right. black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native and Seminole Indians. The people that are always at the bottom. The people that are getting beat, killed, murdered to this day. That's the world that the Lord is talking about. He loves. Right. Black people, basically, they fake you. They, they steal Acts 2 and, and, two and 9. Oh, they do yeah. not steal. I mean, Revelation. Sorry. Revelation 2 and 9, Baba Kasha. Right. Because the Lord said that there's a person on the earth that calls themselves a Jew, but they're really the synagogue of Satan. Right. So let's bring that out. Book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it no. Out. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So the Lord's talking to us, the real Jews, right? The real Israelites. He said, I know your works. I know all the pain and sorrow, suffering you go through, all the tribulations, right? And I know that poverty, where we live predominantly. Our people, yeah. some of our people might come up and, you know, get get the bag or whatever. But predominantly, we in the hood, man. Yeah, the without, ghettos, without the without bottom. Without us, ain't none of this shit popping. Con, right? exactly, man. We the salt of the earth. That's, That's right. why. Bring that out. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. Why we rich? Like, like That's why, right there, we rich in spirit. We're the ones that the new covenant is coming to. That's why, right? The new covenant is drop that. Give me uh, Hebrews eight and eight real quick. We'll come right back to that, right? So, because you rich in spirit, right? Because the Lord deals with your spirit. The flesh profit of nothing, right? The flesh want to look around and do what evil it can do. When the spirit is willing, but the flesh is not, right? So that's why you are rich, because you have that spirit, right? Let's look at Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8. Bring it out. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, 
when I will make a new covenant. I will make a what? I will make a new covenant. What's the Lord going to do? I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the days when I took them by the hand to lend them out of the hand of Egypt because they continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I, but this is the covenant that I will make with them, the house of Israel. In those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their mind. He will do what? I, I will, will put, put my law, law in, in their, their mind. mind. This is how you know it didn't happen yet. Because all of, all of Israel doesn't have the law in their mind. Right, so this is a covenant that the Lord's making with us. And write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. That's right. The Lord is making a new covenant with us right now, right? Go ahead, go back to Revelation 2 and 9. The Lord is making a new covenant with the children on this sign right now. All those people that are on the gates of heaven, right? That's who the Lord is making a new covenant with. Your pastor ain't going to tell you that. They ain't going to tell you the truth about that. Why? Because it doesn't profit him. Right, man. It's, as, it's as the flesh to us. It profited nothing. Right? Bring that out. This book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Yeah. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy. The what? The blasphemy. What's blasphemy mean? It mean lies. lies. So the Lord said, I know the lies. Of them which say they are Jews. Those people. And are not. And what? And are not. And what? And, and are not. not. But, but are the synagogue of Satan. They're the synagogue of Satan. That's They're right. the chief house. They're the top tribe of the chief house of Satan. That's right. They stole our heritage. That's right. Uh, they stole our nationality. Right. Those people that are over in Israel right now don't even claim 12 tribes. They claim Judah. That's right. Even when I went to church, I used to fall asleep and I never felt the whole thing. You know why? Else, because there was felt. that spirit wasn't yep. there. Yep. It was a spirit of wickedness that was there. The Lord didn't want it jumping on you, so he put you in a slumber. Right. All right. praises to the Most High. Right. You get dressed up to go in here to fall asleep in your Easter suit. In there, your little white shirt getting all dirty because you sweating. They ain't even got no air conditioner on. And they knew that they weren't going to have no air conditioner on because they had already took the money last week in the collection plate for that. But now what? You over there sweating, hot, don't get no word, no truth. There's no truth in them there. They ain't nothing but liars. All right. All they do is steal off a whole And they people. take they take from everybody, they brother. They they That's they it. You gotta right. pay just to, you gotta pay to be in a building. You gotta and pay they, to they, hear they the word. Feel like, they make it feel like if you ain't in a building with them and you ain't paying. Then God ain't taking care of you. Yeah. Right. That's exactly right. what they make it feel like. Right? Thank you. That's because they evil. Let me get uh give me Jeremiah twenty three and one. Bob Kishon. Let me get Jeremiah 23 and 1 because the Lord talks about them in the Bible as well, right? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 <laughs> and verse 1. Look it up. Woe be unto the pastor. Now, anytime you hear woe, W O E, it means destruction, right? The Lord said, Destruction be unto the pastor. That destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. That destroy and scatter these 12 tribes, right? Because that's the only sheep of his pasture. He's never mentioned anybody else as a sheep in his pasture but Israel, even all the way down to Revelation. Ain't that right? We already established this. Right? Verse 2. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said the Lord, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them, and will bring them again to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And everybody said, oh no, God loves everybody and everybody's allowed because he did away with Israel. He said he gonna bring us back. He gonna grab that remnant of us and bring us back. He didn't say he was gathering us together with everybody. He said that he was gonna bring that remnant back to him, right. to himself. I won't wanna gather with my enemy anyway. Exactly, man. We ain't supposed to. Cause the Bible told you what? 
to know who it is. Let me get that rack. I feel like they 12 and 10, Bubba like Shop. I feel like they need a turn, too. Huh. Actually, you can go to 6 and 12 first, and then, then we'll go to 12 and 10. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Come huh. on. Come on. the book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 12. Get out. And it reads. Fucking. This book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes, chapter 6 and verse 12. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee, and I will hide himself from thy face. Separate, 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 separate thyself from thy enemy. What are we supposed to do? Separate, separate thyself, thyself from, from thy, thy enemy. enemy. Right. The Lord told us, separate from them. And take heed of thy friends. And make sure you know who your people are. Who you supposed to be friend to? Who you supposed to be around? Right? A faithful friend is a strong defense. A what? A faithful, a faithful friend, friend is, is a strong, strong defense. defense. That's right. Let me get twelve and ten, Bob Bishop. Right? Because the Lord said, "Separate thyself I from think the enemy." Like yes. Right? You know yes. Why? Why would you want to they bring diseases? Up right. To Man, earth? you know that so there was. Why would we, why would we even want to blend? Exactly. And drink out the Bruh, same exact, water bottle. Bruh. Exactly. Man, we had to teach them how to how to use the bathroom, how to walk upright, how to keep themselves clean, right. all that stuff. You know they're the most filthy, dirtiest thing on the earth. That's right. what the Lord called them. Bring that out. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Bring it out. Never trust thy enemies. What the Bible say? Never, Never trust, trust thine enemies. enemies. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So we could be nice to you at first, right. be cool with you at first, uh -huh. right? But the Lord said, as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Because you got this nice metal blade, sword, pole, whatever it is. At one point, it's beautiful, but it's going to get that rust to it. Once the calcium and elements start touching it, that's their wickedness showing through. He was cool to you at first, but as soon as he can, he going to try to cut you down. Though he humble himself, though he humble himself, and go crouching, yet take good heed of him, and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass. So you've been in the shower before, and then you go up to the mirror, and it's, you can't see nothing. The Lord said, he be as if you wipe a looking glass. You can't see what it is for what it is, right? Until you, now you can, oh, that's, oh. Then it might be too late. Right. And thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. That's right. He's still wicked as hell. But it's underneath. It's like you see the rust, but you don't even sand it away. You just paint over it real quick. And then the, the rain hit it that night because it didn't dry. And you see that rust again. That's how wicked they are, man. They evil, man. They're born that way. And they gave, right. And they gave us bad eating habits. Everything. everything. Yeah, they, they gave us everything that the Lord told us not to eat. The Lord told us don't eat pork. They gave us pork. The Lord told us not to eat shrimp. They gave us shrimp. He said don't eat crab. They gave us crab. Lobster. And they didn't even give us the good parts of it. They gave us the worst parts of it. They gave us the booty hole of doggone pig. Right. They, they didn't, yes, that's all it is. If you look at this, the crab, he's an underwater spider. You look at the uh, lobster, he's an underwater scorpion, right? If you look at the uh, shrimp, he's an underwater cockroach. So we're only supposed to eat fish with scales, right? With fins and scales. Okay. Con, that's what the Bible tells us in uh, Exodus uh, 11 and 9. It has to have fins and scales. Con, and all, all praise to the Most High. Well, I'm scared of salmon now. I watched this video, and they were making them in the lab, right? And they look beautiful. They add to them uh, 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 an injection to make their meat pink, to make them look like salmon. But when they release them in the wild, they start eating the real salmon. I was like, bro, we ain't even got no real salmon no more. They out here just eating the real, dang. Because they're evil. But the Lord said he gonna repay them. He gonna give them according to the way that they are. Give me Amos 1 and 11, Baba Kasha. He said the way that they are, he going to pay them back. Because they think that they're going to rise up and be at the top forever. These buildings come and crashing down. That's right. right. Our generation. That's right. All praises to the Most High. This is the book of Amos, chapter 1, and verse 11. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord, 
Thus saith the Lord. Who said that? Thus saith the Lord. Lord. For three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. You know who Edom is? Edom is Esau. He was our brother. He's Jacob's brother, right? His twin brother, right? But the Lord's so like... So they, that's where they come from. Right. That's where they come from. The Georgia, the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Right? That's where we sent them off to. Because they were they was just an ill, foul, disgusting piece of nothing. We got sick of them and sent them off to Georgia, Russia. Right? Right. That's Edom. Caucasian. Caucasian man. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because they did pursue thy brother with the sword. And what do they do to us today? Stab us. Pursue, pursue us with yeah. the sword. Sword just mean a weapon. Yeah. What do the police do? Pow! You see, you see uh, it's an uproar right now in Chicago about the little 11-year-old boy. And he, he came out and somebody called 911. And he came to the door. He had his hands up and everything. And the policeman shoot, shot him. Collapsed his lung, you know broke his rib. You know Oh, all the time. They got one black man with him. He's with him. He's the biggest coon ever. He the man. And he'll he'll he hurt you even, worse than they will. He won't even like make him like. No, nope, he won't even him nothing. He'll he'll, he'll egg it on. Right. Right. Yep. Now. And this and is they what happened. A lot of false narratives. Right. This is what happened to our people, man. This. Is, well, I'm gonna bring that out right after this. This is the Book of Amos, chapter one and verse eleven. Bring it out. Thus said the Lord God, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity. He did what? And did cast, cast off all, all pity. They didn't care what you look like, how old you were. You was out in that field. Your baby out in that field. Your great grandma out in that field. He cast off all pity. You doing this work today, or I'm with you. And his anger did tear perpetually. It did what? And his anger it did tear perpetually. Meaning forever. It's constant, right? It's even to this day. And he kept his wrath forever. For how long? Forever. For how long? Forever. That's why the white man still hates you, man. Right. Let me get Deuteronomy 28 54. We'll talk about that black cop. Yeah, that I ain't gonna lie. That book is spooky as hell. That uh -huh. bad was it. I don't know. That's what we read it, right it, now, huh? Man, that's it, yeah, but that's the 1611. That's the Bible where they ripped all of our books out. But that's the original. So that's got all 80 books in there. All praise to the Most High. Right? This is this that truth coming out. Because that's what we read, that King James, that truth. Right? My granddad read the King James Bible. 28, 54, Bible. This book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 54. You know? So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Because that's how we used to be back in the day. You need something, brother, I got you. I need something, you got me. We all, you know what I mean? That's how we used to be, tender and delicate towards one another. Right. So that man that is tender and de delicate among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. His what? His, his eyes, eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Why is that one black cop come and beat you more than the white man? His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Right, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother, right? You got something to say? Yeah, then my, uh, like my aunt, she, my aunt had a white man. My granddad, he don't like white people, so he just owns a white people. No, God. God, God. God. you, you, you can come back once you get rid of him. Yeah. God, all praises. All praises. The wife of thy bosom. So like can add towards the wife of thy bosom. So our people predominantly don't get along with our women, right? Because... We end up fighting our, our own brothers towards the wife of our bosom, and what else? And towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Who does that happen to? Us. That's us, man. This whole book is about us, man. I try to stay solid. I've been with my, uh, I've been with my uh, kid's mother. She, she, like, we've been together for like all, probably a decade. We've been together since we was 20. I'm all, 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 all praise to the most high. God, all never, praise I to the never most high. My race. All never. praises to the most high. God, you know that Hispanics and uh, Native and Seminole Indians, all us. That's all the same yeah. race. We all one race, right? right? We were just separate kingdoms. They, their northern kingdom, the Hispanics, and then the so-called blacks were the southern kingdom. That's it. That was the only difference, okay. right? That's our people, though. Now, anybody outside of that, that is not us, right? Every everybody else. 
that is on this sign, that's us. So, you know, Dominicans, Cubans, Puerto Ricans, West Indians, that's us, man. That's right. Those is all us. That's right. Argentinian, those is us, man. Why you think that they get done so bad? Even when the, even when the Cubans, they, when they other races, they were Puerto Rican, they were talking that nigga, I'm like, y'all niggas too. Y yeah, y they are. Niggas, yeah, yeah, they just don't know. We don't know any better, right? That's the case, yeah. We just don't right. know no better. Right, and that's exactly what it is. And that's why they put all this bull out, because we are confused. We are the lost people, but we really are the so-called black people. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2, by the way, I'm going to show you. The Lord said that the real Jews are mourning. We are down, right? Right? But then he lets you know what the color they are. He lets us know who we are, right? It's the book of Jeremiah, <laughs> chapter 14 and verse 2. Look at that. Judah mourning and the gates thereof language. They are black. What color is the real Jews? They, they are, are black. black unto the ground. That's right. We black, man. That's what color we are. But see, our people start intermingling. And, and mixing up with all these other people. Give me Hosea 7 and 8. We start intermingling with people. So that's why they, the Hispanics and everything start becoming real light. Getting fair and fair skin. They still got hue, but they be looking like white people. But like I even like when they put when Obama was in office, he's still white, man. He got oh. white blood. Obama, Obama ain't, right. ain't our people, man. Blood. He an African. He a Hamite. Yeah, he he his, his dad blood. from Kenya. So he, he, ain't, white he ain't our people, man. That, that boy off. And, and his wife is a man. Ah, they don't want to tell you that, though. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 7 and verse 8. Now, now Ephraim, he hath mixed himself amongst the people. What did Ephraim do? He, he hath mixed, mixed himself, himself amongst the people. Now, you see Ephraim right here. The Puerto Ricans, they mixed themselves among the people. So what happened? Ephraim, he hath mixed himself amongst the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. So that means that if I get a, a pancake, right? I'm cooking it, but I don't ever flip it. One side is what? White, and the other side is brown. Right. That's what happened with us, man. We, we intermixed with all these people trying to be like them. Mess us up, right? Mess us all up, man. Brought us down low. We got us, people even trying to talk like this. But we just saw it on earth, so everybody trying to be like us. Right, right. Everybody want to do what we do. They would rather take all of our ways and kill us off. They wouldn't even probably kill us all off. Because they like, dang, what if this stuff run out? We still going to need some. So we can go back over there and steal the rest of their stuff that they got. That's how evil they are. Right? It says that in Obadiah, that they, if a, a thief, a normal thief will come and steal what he need, the white man going to steal until he can't steal no more. Right, right. That's why the Lord said that he got to wipe them completely out. Right. Right? But we wait We wait for this to happen. Give me Jeremiah 14 from the top. Huh? We wait for this thing to happen right here, man. Because this is why we patiently wait and doing thus saith the Lord, man. Because the Lord said if you patiently wait and you do what I told you, like he said, I'll give you everlasting life. And this is how we'll live. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. Check it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord will have what? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel right. and set them in their own land. So the Lord said, we're in our captive land. Our people are scattered abroad. We're everywhere around the world, but we're not in our own land. He's telling us that we're going to go back to our own land. We're going to let this chariot go by. Up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers. And the who? And, and the, the strangers. Any nation outside of these 12 tribes is a stranger. Shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So these people are going to be cleaving to us the same way that we just talked about they do. They want to be like us. They want to do what we do. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So we're going to take them and bring them to our new place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall what? Shall, shall possess, possess them. them. So if you possess something, it belongs to you, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to possess these people. And the land of the Lord. In the land of the Lord. In the new Jerusalem. 
in Israel. We're going to possess them in the Lord's land. For servant. For what? For, for servants. servants. They're going to be our servants. And handmaids. And their women are going to be our handmaids. And they shall take them captive, whose captives they were. And they put us in slavery, and we were captive to them. Now it's our turn to take them and put them in our captivity. Right. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And they shall what? And, and they, they shall, shall rule, rule over, over their, their oppressors. oppressors. And verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrows. Right, because we are had nothing but sorrow. We had to work for these people. We don't get nothing out of it. The Lord said he's going to give us that day of rest. And from thy fear. And from the hard bondage. From the what? And from, from the, the hard bondage. bondage wherein thou was made to serve. That's right. The Lord said he's going to give us that rest, man. Okay. But he's going to make these people serve us. Right. right? We're going we gonna to have the dang on white man carrying our women. Because their feet going to be too delicate to walk on this dirty ground. Right. And they're going to have to carry our women, man. They're going to want to carry our women uh -huh. at this time. Right? They're going to know that we are the people of God. And that they did us wrong. They're going to be like... Oh man, dang, all this time we've been doing the children of God wrong, I didn't know that. And they live it off of it frivolously, right? Because their forefathers did it, but they got to pay for it. That's, That's just like if we go out to dinner, right? And me and my daddy go out, and I just, he leaves. I got to pay the bill. That's exactly what's happening to them. You got something up? Yeah. This book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 26. Bring it out. And he that overcome and keep my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. He will do what? To him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. That's right, man. The Lord said that we're going to rule over the other nations with a rod of iron. They ruled us with a whip. Right. We gonna rule over them with a rod of iron, Gosh, man. Right. And like the potter breaks the vessels, they gonna be broken to shivers. To where they gonna, they ain't, they, yes, yes, master, the same way we used to do. But it's gonna be 10 times worse God, for them. Right. All praises to the Most High oh, God. God. All praises to the Most High God. God. Let me get uh, Ecclesiastes 12, 13, and I'm gonna turn it over to the next powerful speaker. All praises to the Most High. Come Oh, we'll close out with that, man, because I'm, I'm waiting to put Jimmy and Tommy and Ernest in, into my slave camps. I can't stand them fools. I can't uh, wait till that time come. All praise to the Most High. That, that, why do you think the Lord call it the good news? Because ain't that beautiful news to your ears to know that that's what's going to happen? All praises. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Look it now, out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. What the Bible say? Let, let us, us hear, hear the, the conclusion, conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's right. We got to fear God and we got to keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. And with that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, Barakatah. Come yes, Yes,